Perfect spot, lock it off, brace it up. Next piece, next piece. So. Yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot going on there. Which group left so we finished? Yeah, oh look, it's good. But I just can't wait to see it clean. Yeah, yeah. It's been fitted out, yeah. done, you know, everything on. It all comes yeah. back. You can see what it looks like when it's done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty impressed by you guys who have filled it all up here and everything. It's, um, it's one thing having a million different pieces, and the other one, but another thing seeing it all come together. Yeah. Yeah. That's why the CNC is so important, because it's a millimetre perfect when it comes out of manufacture. So you know what you're putting up, if you've got your lines in the right spot, that's going there. Yeah. That's, the way, that's where it fits. Yeah. So you get one, sometimes you'll be like, oh, you know, it's not fitting. And it's just that you've got one of the corners in slightly the wrong spot. So you kick it up and it just hits, it like clicks, perfect. it's like yeah. a puzzle piece. Yeah. It just clicks into place, that's its perfect spot. Lock it off, brace it up. Next piece, next piece. So. Rui's got the old Rui's cube. You know Rui's cube used to get? He was yeah. an expert at that, so obviously it's just going to work. <laughs> yeah. yeah, one coat, two coats. Because you've got your hide in there, though, so they, they show one sort of coat on from each and then do another coat and that highlights the other one with the cloud so that you get that motley looking yeah, colour okay. of the concrete. Because mm. originally, we seeing plans in this job, it was all going to be done out of concrete. It was all going to come out of China and all the panels were about 50 mil thick and, you know, they were all saying, he would have probably had to put that up. And obviously, you couldn't join it, so it was, that wasn't going to happen, that wasn't going to work. You know? mm -hmm. So uh, that's where this is our way to do it. Holding it and all that, like, hell will that take right to do that? <laughs> you, well, you didn't join it, that won't work, but that's what it's like. These are still quite light, aren't they, right? Look, these are pretty way, these are easy. Yeah, they're the yeah. same as fire stock. Yeah, yeah same way. Yeah. So you, you've got your framing on there, and yeah, that's the same as fire stock. So, but the whole frame is already on it, so it's, it's not heavy, there's no loading on anything. Yeah, too, exactly. too big, yeah. Yeah, there we go. So we're doing another job of cream block at the moment, which is it's the same concept and just something completely different. But we're doing all the gaming room there in all curves. I think it's a little elliptical uh, curves around there out of the same format as this. Uh, and that's just going together over there now. Rory from Fine is doing that job as well. Uh, them guys have got it together with this. Obviously, they've cut their teeth pretty heavily on this job here. That uh, it makes it a breeze doing the next job. They know how to do it, which way to do it, and all the shortcuts. Like anything you do new, obviously you find shortcuts. And we're the same in the factory as well. We've got a lot of better techniques than we've had when we first started. And uh, we're finding different ways of doing things in whole different, whether it be CNC cut styrene, whether it be um, uh, laser cut uh, craft, we to do linear stuff. We're also looking going at putting. Up. Oh, yeah, going up. Going up. Yeah. Yeah, so these are all uh, fibers plaster here, Max, and uh, all these curves are all fibers plaster. But the good thing with the curves being like this, as I say, the biggest thing with these um, curves is that you don't need to worry about the framing and the radius. You've got a chippy to work out, you know, where it's going to go and put the flexi track in and making all the framing. And then, then you've got to do all your members at 200 apart or 150 apart. 
and then you curve your jip rock around there, which you can do. But the good thing with these things here is that you just have the whole length of it, and you put a recess on either side or whatever you need to do. That just stands straight up, and then you can just finish your jip rock straight into it. So it saves all the foaming pull. Yes. So, you know, and we can also put we can put um, TCR down the back, mm -hmm. and you can so. We did someone a job a while ago, and the big external ones, and all we did, the guy said, he just finished it from one point to another, and these are like big. And I said, they just, let's all, that's all we need. We, we don't want framing because we want to be able to create our own wall, and we put TCR on the back of it, and put the TCR back and just lock them together. So they're solid as, you know. And you can make them as thick or as thin as you like. You can make them, you know, 12 mil thick, 13 mil thick, whatever thickness you want. Um, yeah, well, it's nice, uh, it's a nice view from up here. Wow, that's a lovely view. Look at that here, it's straight in the coastline. Well, yeah, well, that is a um, straight down the beach. Ceilings is seems to be the favourite one. It is, yeah, definitely. So come right here, this is a fireplace. I noticed that Archer is gonna convey too, bro. <laughs> they have just this job and then I think they haven't seen another one since, so mm. yeah, all down here. Yeah. It's a big apartment this one. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. No externals here to see. <laughs> <laughs> Worse. <laughs> Worse. This might be the best room on the Gold Coast. Oh, I'd say it'd be one of the best ones on the Gold Coast, definitely, yeah. Yeah, they've certainly got a vantage point on the Gold Coast line there, haven't they? Mm. Mm. Well, I've got to mention too, I suppose uh, Hutchies and Sunland for gives the opportunity for this job too. Them guys are awesome, and, um, and Dan that come into the factory there originally with the design uh, from Hutchies. Um, and also um, Raff and Contras Earl. Uh, all that's the architectural design and all the rest of it's uh, um, pretty important part of the whole thing to bring it all together. Uh. So how far would you finish the The penthouses, they've got lead times on the stone, so this is all custom imported material for the flooring, walls, everything, benches. Um, so I think they're March, April for these, but level 40 now will be almost done by the end of the year. Oh, oh, right. Right. Maybe early next year, because okay. of Christmas. So you're not too far, like you wouldn't have we're, been we're, we're pretty much done, you know, yeah. you just saw downstairs, probably those bottom levels are as, and these penthouses are as much as we've got left yeah. to do. And you, you, you have a few guys still on site though. Oh yeah, we still got pretty much full, yeah. 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 yeah, right at the end, oh, the last push. Yeah. 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 I might head down some fish units. Mm. Exactly. Exactly right, Donald. Yeah, I'm saying it's all good. I just got Yeah, but, um, yeah, I don't think I suppose uh, yeah. is 
to mention about um, is I suppose the the USG Boral Tough Hide we found to be a pretty good, well, how do you find that, Rory? Very yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, so a lot of painters seem to, uh, don't like to use it because they like to use a, a paint Dulux product, but the USG Boral Tough Hide uh, gives a fantastic finish um, in the way that it's got a lot more solids in it and it can build up a bit on the walls and give it the, the one porosity, so it's not a level five finish, so to speak, but it's a level five prep, which is probably the best level five prep you can do. Yeah. Um, I've seen the Dulux one, and I've seen the USB Boral Tough Hide, and you can't compare the, the USB Boral Tough Hide, it's a good product. Um, just blow it off. Yeah, the first coat is very important. Yeah. For getting a good finish. Mm. And these are the shapes, obviously, you can't get out of plaster, plasterboard, so these are custom made curves from Paul. Yeah. Um, all these sorts of areas. They're just too tight a curve. When Paul makes them, they're just perfect, millimetre perfect. When you try and bend sheet and everything, it, it's never it's never exactly right, so. And it's under stress. Exactly, yeah. it could pop, you can get problems later. Yeah. So this is a solid piece of fibre. Yeah.